Hi everyone, this video is just going to be a quick start guide showing how to install Handplane, get the license file set up, and how to use Handplane. So I'll start by installing. I've got uh, my installers here, and in this case I'm going to install the 64-bit version. And you'll get to the license screen, and there's a EULA. And if you're a My user, we really recommend you install these plugins and use them. Um, and I'll go into more depth of that in another video. So now Handplane's installed, and I'm going to launch Handplane from the Start menu. If you take a look, right now at the top it says Free License, Not for Commercial Use. This is the free build available to everyone, and I have a license file here. And it's a .hplf, which Handplane associates, uh, and if you run it, you should be able to close and restart Handplane and have a validated license. And if that doesn't work, you can go into the About section and you can manually select the license with this button. So if you check out the interface, Handplane is really simple. There are two input fields and an output field, and the inputs are your low polygon model and an object-based normal map. If you load up this video folder, you can see that I have these two right here. And the output is just the destination and your target engine. So in this case, I'm just going to load up the low poly model, so FBX. And this is a object-based normal map bake. And I baked it in X-normal, so I'm selecting X-normal. And I want to view this in 3ds Max, so I'm selecting 3ds Max and I'm just going to hit render. And you can see this uh, message pops up, and this happens pretty frequently. Um, it's hard for us to know the YZ orientation of the model, and if it's incorrect, all the shading will be rotated 90 degrees. So uh, just hit yes, and this will autocorrect. And you can see that we've generated a new tangent space normal map baked off of uh, original object space. And you can also notice that the, it's called hand plane normals, and then this is hand plane normals underscore max. When you change the output, it changes the automatic suffix so you can keep track of what your normal maps are baked for. So now if I load up 3ds Max, there's our model, no normal map. If I browse to this folder, we can select our tangent space normal map, turn it on, and we have perfect shading. So if I go back to hand plane, you can see there's a more options button. We can go into a little more depth on some of these features. Uh, you can manually flip channels, and you can manually select to flip the YZ. You shouldn't need to use these features, but in some cases they might become useful. And then for the output options, you can set the padding quantity, which you probably just want to leave at 64. And you can manually type in a suffix if you want. And that'll be used. And you can swizzle the channels on the output as well. And this format uh, match source button will automatically output the uh, normal map in the same format and bit depth as the input map. And you can also see the other thing we have here is a presets button. So I can say I like all these settings, and I can call this my preset, and then I can add it. You can see it's now on the list, and you can also remove presets. And lastly, something else to note is um, the hand plane interface can be scaled as wide as you want it to be, and all the paths are justified to the uh, right hand side where the file name is. So you have a really long path and it doesn't fit in the window, you'll be able to see the file name instead of the uh, root drive. If you have uh, more questions about Handplane or Baking Normals, I'm continuously adding more training videos to the video sections website, and I'm going to go into more depth on each engine and uh, different types of baking workflows.